When you first start out on a ketogenic diet, you can expect so many things to be a little bit whacked out. You can expect your hormones to be a little whacked out. You might be a little bit stressed out. And it's all a natural response. And I tell you how to get through that, but I'm not just talking about like the keto flu. I'm talking about a legit stress response in the body simply because you're switching gears. Now, a lot of people will tell you that it's because you're going into starvation mode. They'll tell you that, oh, you're getting rid of carbohydrates, so your body's going into shock. That's not the case at all. Your body is simply readjusting. And I'm gonna make some sense of all of this, and I'm also gonna make some sense of what happens later on in your keto journey that's gonna put your mind at ease a little bit. But first, you're tuned in to the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel with new videos three times per week. I wanna make sure you hit that red subscribe button, then hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. And if you are doing keto, you might want to check out Fat Snacks down below in the description. So Fat Snacks is a keto cookie that leverages all kinds of awesome ingredients to quite honestly give you what I would say is the best tasting keto cookie that's out there. Something that gives you the full pleasure of eating a cookie while still keeping you within the ketogenic realm. Now, I've known these guys, I've met them a few times, I've talked with them, I've helped them with formulation, and I think you're really gonna dig what they've got. So after this video, once you're full bore, full steam ahead on your keto journey, make sure you check them out down in the description. You're not gonna wanna miss out. All right, so here's what we wanna talk about. When you first start a keto diet, some shifts occur. But it's not because you're starving. It's simply because your body's going through somewhat of a withdrawal phase. If you're coming off of carbohydrates and switching over to fat as a fuel source, of course your body's gonna just be in shock. But let's take a look at a study that might explain some things and might put your mind at ease a little bit. So this study was published in the Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology. Took a look at eight participants. Okay, and these eight participants were broken down into a keto group, a mixed diet group, and a control group. And this was just a three-day study. What this study wanted to look at was what happens to individuals in just a three-day period when they change their diet. So they wanted to measure their uh, ketone levels. They wanted to measure their free fatty acid levels. They wanted to measure some of their hormones. They wanted to measure some of their overall stress responses. Okay, so here's what they found out after three days with the keto group. The keto group had a massive increase in their VO2 max, which means they were, just after three days, able to expend a lot more energy. Okay, their lactate threshold moved, so they were able to withstand more like, just discomfort in the gym, right? Okay, then they also saw that their insulin levels dropped dramatically, which is a huge thing. But they did see an increase in their cortisol, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. Well, okay, that sounds bad, right? We had an increase in cortisol. Doesn't that automatically associate with belly fat? Not necessarily. You see, what's happening here is the body's starting to preferentially use the fats for fuel. So although this is a shock to the body and it's causing a little bit of a spike in cortisol, we have all these other positive things going on. Increase in VO2 max, increase in lactate threshold. We're able to push it harder in the gym. So that means even if we are a little bit stressed out, we're at least able to use the energy that comes from the stress. But the most important thing to note here is this is after three days. Okay, so three days we saw improvement through all these markers, but the other thing to note is that after three days, you're still in the thick of that carb transition. You're not fat adapted yet. Keto is all about getting adapted to the fat. That simply means that once your body is used to utilizing fat as a fuel source, you have a lot more flexibility. You can go in and out of keto and have your cells be able to just go right back to using fat. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's reference another study that takes a look at a longer tail look at people on the ketogenic diet. This study was published in the journal Metabolism, it took a look at 12 individuals that went from a standard diet and switched over to a keto diet. So they wanted to go through the transition, okay? Then it took eight individuals that remained on a control diet. And again, they wanted to measure all kinds of things. They wanted to uh, measure specific biomarkers, hormones, they wanted to measure free fatty acids, beta hydroxybutyrate, all that stuff, okay? So what they did is they did this for six weeks. At the end of six weeks, the ketogenic group ended up having a massive decrease in their fat mass, a huge increase in their lean body mass, and then also they found that their thyroid levels increased, meaning their overall metabolism improved, their T4 levels, okay, so their pre-thyroid for lack of a better term, but guess what? No change in their glucagon levels, their cortisol levels, or any of their glucocorticoids, like adrenaline or noradrenaline, showing that once they were fat adapted, they didn't have those big spikes in stress, yet fat loss still occurred at a dramatic rate. So what that tells us is that the body was preferentially using the fat as a fuel source, but it wasn't simply because we're just shaking and running all this energy from adrenaline all the time. They weren't stressed out. In fact, other studies start to show that because the brain tilts more towards a GABA scale, which stands for a gamma aminobutyric acid, 
that basically means the brain gets more relaxed. So you could almost conclude that you're going to be less stressed out on a keto diet while still getting all the benefits of body composition change. So you can tell the people that tell you that keto is starving yourself that they're completely wrong. Say, yes, I will be stressed out. And yes, my body will be in fight or flight mode for a few days. But guess what? That's a small price that I pay to get fat adapted and ultimately be able to live the life that I want to live. Stress for a few days for a lifetime of lower stress? Come on, definitely makes a lot more sense to me. So anyway, I wanted to get this video out there so you could share it with your friends and family that might be naysaying the ketogenic diet. As always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you in the next video.